What about being Peter the Prince or, I don't know, a pirate? I don't want to be a pirate. I want to be Penelope the princess. You can't be a princess, so pick something else. Why? Emily's going as a princess. Emily is a girl. So? <sighs> Come here. Look at me. Some costumes are made for girls and some are made for boys. Now, it don't mean you can't wear it. You can. But kids are mean. Especially when they see something that they ain't used to seeing. They just expect to see a girl wearing this costume. Like your friend Emily. They should make one for boys. They do. It's Peter the Prince. You ready for Halloween? Yep, I can't wait. This is Carol Lynn with Hollywood First Look Features, and today I'm so excited because I'm joined by Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens, who directed the film and star writer Alan to talk about their latest project, Palmer. Fisher, the performances from your entire cast are fantastic. And before we talk about your little scene stealer, Mr. Writer Alan, yes, I'm talking about you. I would love to know when Justin Timberlake was served to you to play Eddie Palmer, did you have any hesitations? And what was it specifically that said, you know what, this is our guy? Well, I was originally uh, thinking of many other people and I had a list of other actors that Justin wasn't on just because for no reason other than, I think he had been doing quite a bit of music at the time and no agents had submitted him originally. But uh, we went down the line with a couple people, it looked like we were gonna start shooting in 2018 and the whole thing fell apart. And I got like, uh, so depressed. And then um, I was making a documentary with Leonardo DiCaprio and I asked his management team, Jennifer, to read the script, to give some advice who should play it. And she read it right away and said, Justin Timberlake. And I was like, wow, why didn't we think of that before? And she said, he's from the South, because this film is rural America, and he will relate to this movie. And she sent it to him, and we started conversations. Um, because, yeah, I mean, it was not originally what I thought, but then the more I went into looking at all his movies, watching his work, I started watching everything he ever did. And I was like, this guy's a great actor. He can do yeah. this. No problem. And, um, I think Justin was at a point, he was in the middle of a giant tour, so I had to wait months till he'd finish. And then I got to see him in concert for the first time. And I saw him hold an audience of 22,000 people in the palm of his hands, the charisma, the magnetism, <laughs> that kind of movie star. And I was like, I know this guy's it. And so there we go. Thank goodness I didn't do it before. Writer, I understand that you felt like you didn't do very well in your very first audition. So talk to me about what you did differently to prepare for the auditions after that, that really helped you land this role. Um, I read my script a million times over, you know, practiced them all I could. I would do a bunch of improv with my mom or my dad or my sister. And big shout out to my mom, my dad, and my sister for helping me get this opportunity. Thank you so much. Um, oh. So they really helped me and I just memorized the lines. I got into character. I just tried to become Sam, you know? There's things in this world you can be and there's things that you can't. How many boys do you see on that show? None. What does that tell you? That I can be the first. Fisher, knowing that you had to find a young talent who could emote so many different complexities on the screen, you know, and writer at the time did not have a lot of uh, credits to his name. So I'd like to know what also convinced you that writer was your Sam. Justin said he would only do the movie if we had the we have to have the kid before we roll the camera. And I was like, yes. And he said, look, I'll read as many kids as you want, but no less than six. And um, I had um, I had five kids that I thought were all pretty good contenders. Ryder was not one of them. Ryder's audition was good, but he wasn't like like he said. So, but there was something about him and, and the writer and I did like him, but he was seven. He was younger than the other kids. 
So we kind of threw him in at the end, at the last minute. As soon as he read with Justin, it was much different than the other kids. I also think when Ryder walked in that room with Justin in the room, not even knowing who Justin was, because he didn't know who he was. He didn't know he was the pop star Justin Timberlake, but he wanted that role. He's like, he owned it. He's like, I, I, I he just felt like, I'm gonna get this, this is mine. Um, and there was something about the skills that he had about listening, where he could, he was, a, he listened, you know, kids are often, and even many adults, actors, they're worried about their next line, they're self-conscious. Ryder was present in the moment and listened. And you can't teach that. That is a skill. That is an incredibly difficult thing to do. So that was the main thing. And there was this kind of naturalness and this ability, and he did improvise. and. He brought a lot of himself to the role, and you know, it just was. It, we just got lucky that Ryder came along and we found him. Palmer is streaming on Apple TV Plus now. Please go and see it. Congratulations, you guys! This is Kira Lynn, and you're watching Hollywood First Look Features. Okay.